One of the things I find amazing is that I feel like every tree has something beautiful and different and stunning and it just makes me so happy to look at it. So in this tree, I love the ribbon and there's two different ribbons and I kind of did them a little bit differently at the top and then coming together and then kind of one starting halfway and interlacing with the other and going down. I think it's so beautiful. It's like tendrils of hair, just beautiful, soft and feminine and pretty and curvy and I just think it really, really turned out beautifully. So the ribbon is your choice of either, this is the white with the beautiful trim and the fringe or the white with the design down the center. They're both wired. They really, really work easily and beautifully in the tree. I loved working with them because they would just do pretty much anything. Then going into the florals, I love this ornament with the flowers on it, and that is going to be the clear that you're looking at right there. And then, oh, there was a closer one up there. There's also the white one, which is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And then these European glass ornaments, these are gonna be a set of six. You get three in this pink, and each of those three has a separate design, and then you're gonna get three in the deeper pink, so. You're gonna get a pink and a deep pink with this design, kind of a star and a doily out of flowers and leaves. You're gonna get, so that's two of that, one in each color. You're gonna get two of this scattered flower, one in each color, and then you're gonna get two of this, one in each color. Here's the darker pink, so six total, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love these. These are these beautiful glass ornaments and the light comes through and it's oranges and golds and yellows and pinks and oh my gosh, it just anchors the tree wherever you see that. It just anchors the tree with this beautiful, beautiful warmth. Isn't that stunning? Love that. Then, of course, we have our favorite sugar top ornaments. These are the, the sugared beads ornaments. These are European glass ornaments in a set of six in the silvers. So you're going to see um, six, three in the high polished and then three in, oh that's not a mat, three in the mat. <laughs> I'll find another mat for you as we go up the tree. Um, oh and of course by the way these ornaments are in this kind of finial and the round so you get two different shapes in that at what else is on this tree. Oh, the little ballet slippers. Look how pretty these are. So these are in a white or a pink. Two beautiful little glass ballet slippers on the ribbon. So, so, so pretty. I did add some other ornaments to this tree um, that were still available. And I absolutely, absolutely love, by the way, don't forget these larger glass ornaments because they make such a difference in the tree. Beautifully done, the ribbing, the sequins, and then right back in there, that beautiful pyramid shape, love. Now, one of the things that I think really makes, going back to the ribbon, one of the things that I think really makes the ribbon and the way it curves are these garlands. So these are actually vine garlands and they have these beautiful berries and gold leaves and the way that they kind of come up and around and curve back and forth along the ribbon I think adds so much to the tree and you can see everywhere they are they just add this feel of beautiful beautiful garden aren't they gorgeous then we have these gorgeous large blooms look at this this is in the soft cream and 
then we have it in the soft pink and these are beautiful at Christmas and then just as beautiful in spring. So they really, those kinds of flowers you're gonna use all year long. I put some beautiful roses next to them. These roses are in pink or red and they're all on one stem. All these roses you're looking at here, about five roses on a stem. How gorgeous is that? There's the red. And then here's the pink. Isn't that stunning? Beautiful. And then, we added these beautiful little flowers. And these are very simple. They actually are just on a clip. So they're easy to just tuck in. We have the golden white, and then we have the beautiful, kind of a soft, sorry about that, rose velvet with the gold glitter. I was trying to change hands because my arm was getting tired. So I love those soft little ones. Also above the large blooms, we have these gorgeous, gorgeous poinsettias, and the poinsettias are going to be a burgundy beaded poinsettia, which is stunning, and a pink poinsettia. These are also on the clips, so they're very easy to work in the tree. And then, oh, one of my favorite things about this tree are these beautiful soft pink roses with the glitter, and then these beautiful leaves the rose leaves that go within the branch. It's gonna be pink underneath, but then gold over. So it's this beautiful pink and gold that just matches the rose. And I think those add so much, so much to the tree. Don't forget when it comes to the beaded poinsettias, there are a couple different pinks. This is a light pink with white beading and then a deeper pink, so absolutely beautiful now there were a few things that i wanted to do separately because we haven't really shown you how to do a garland much so let me show you that look at the vines over the top and everything doesn't that just make it oh my gosh i just love this tree i absolutely love it i think it's just one of the prettiest things ever absolutely absolutely gorgeous so this is some more and I decided to just put it on the garland and it's very very simple uh, to work with the garland this is our stars in the sky garland and I took one branch and this is a branch that has deeper pink and more medium ombre flowers with beautiful glitter and I just stuck it into the branch going to the corner to the garland facing up into the corner and then I took another one from the corner down and see how pretty that is and then I filled in with those same beautiful poinsettia as you saw on the tree. So that's the burgundy. And then this beautiful pink. This is actually a little different poinsettia than we had on the tree, because this is one that has a long stem and it's all velvet and it has beautiful glitter on the edge, gold in the center, beautiful. So the other poinsettias are beaded. These are going to be velvet with this beautiful, beautiful trim and they are stunning. And those have the long, the long stems. So I just wanted to show you how beautiful the garland can be and how easy it is with a few branches and flowers. Look how gorgeous that is. And of course, that is stunning next to the tree. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. This one really does remind me of a Christmas wedding, I have to say. Oddly enough, I put this at a spring wedding. I know it's a little weird to have a Christmas tree at a wedding, but I just think it's really beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I did put these um, beautiful Christmas trees around, this, around the base with the large crystals because I think those are stunning. Borrowed the, uh, the sleigh with the reindeer right down there. But how beautiful is that tree? Mm. I love being able to do different looks. I think that it's amazing how many different looks there are to do in a Christmas tree and how beautiful they all are. And this is one that really shows you the range, but it's stunning. So I don't know. Hoping I may be able to leave that one up. I don't know. I just think it's so pretty. I hate to take it down. 
but I think whatever you get, you will love and it will just add beautifully to whatever you're already using.